Hello, people. Happy Victory in Europe Day. Um, apparently, the world can afford to print money for war no matter what. And they're going to need to print a lot of money for it. Can't afford other things, but war is not a problem. Since the 30s, I think the United States in particular has had a war economy. I don't see how that could be controversial. It's just Washington, D.C. needs big, huge geopolitical foes, enemies, to keep its uh, war economy going, I think. But I heard some shocking things. It's gonna, we're going to have to float Ukraine. You know, global partners are going to have to float Ukraine to the tune of $6 billion a day during the war. And it might cost seven hundred billion to a trillion to rebuild Ukraine after the war. Wow, that's amazing to me. But anyway, that's what's going to happen because I don't think the war is going to end this summer. But we'll see. Anyway, victory in Europe will be when peace happens in Ukraine. I hope people start talking about that, but negotiating peace deals is not as attractive as printing money for arms and support for war, which we do all the time, have always done. It's shocking. I looked it all up once, how much it all cost over the decades. It's just as astronomical. But you can't forgive student debt. That wouldn't be right. Yeah, I don't get it. People, people saw this coming. They knew what was going on. And they decided not to try to prevent it. So now we just have to hope that Vlad is nice and doesn't start dropping little nukes here and there. He's in a bad situation one way or another. I don't feel sorry for him. I don't like him, but he's trapped. So who knows what's going to happen? Anyway, for now, we remember ooh, the tens of millions of people who died in World War II and the lead up to it. So many people were killed in the 30s all over the place. And the permanent war economy, the forever war economy in the United States. And yeah, we can, we can fund war. That's not a problem, but to hell with the rest of us. Bummer. William T. Out.